Hello and welcome to the review of the Magma Splicer, one of the new weapons of the recent Plasma Corp shop update. I'll be reviewing as many items as I can, so remember to turn on your notifications so you can instantly be notified when I review a new item. For this item, I'll be reviewing the statistics, usefulness, affordability, and at the end I will provide my personal opinion on whether or not you should get this item. Beginning with the damage, the Magma Splicer deals 5 damage, which translates into 6 damage when the weapon is in perfect shape. Moreover, it has 100% burn effect chance, which means that on first contact it will deal an extra damage for a total of 7. And it will continue to deal 1 extra damage over time, approximately each 2 seconds the opponent is under the burn effect, which I have measured to last about 3 to 4 seconds. This is really helpful if you're one of those people who hates it when your enemy gets away with really low health. Moving on to the fire rate, it shoots decently fast, though not as fast as the minigun to use as an example. The gun has a decent freeze for the fire rate of the weapon, which I didn't find to be a problem. It has 100% accuracy, which means no spread at all. There's going to be a disadvantage when shooting vertically at an opponent because the weapon is heavily tilted to one's one side of the player. So if an enemy is shooting up or down from the opposite side on which the splicer is held, you're more likely going to receive damage than to deal it. The weapon has a comfortable 25 clip, which replenishes over time every second, until you're back at 25 bullets. This can either be an advantage or a disadvantage depending how you look at it. The weapon is automatic, so if you go crazy on the fire rate, you will find yourself stalling once you waste all your ammo, as you will have to wait until it refills back up. That is if you don't know the trick to bypass the recharge. You can essentially get all the way back up to 25 bullets without having to wait for the refill. If you paid attention to the background video, you will notice that I changed to the antimatter cupid bow very often. This is not only because I love the bow, but it actually has a reason behind it. If you switch to a weapon which has a clip greater or equal to the splicer and then change back, your clip will magically be brought back to 25. This is a small glitch that I showed to Johns and he told me that it was meant to be this way, so don't expect for this to be patched anytime soon. Splicer can currently be used at spar, PK arenas and bases, but not at survival or events like CTF. Splicer only costs 4000 plasma coins, and though that sounds like a lot, it is one of the cheapest guns you can currently buy. My personal opinion on this item is that it is good and fun to use, however I recently got the antimatter burner and that pretty much renders the splicer useless at least to me. This being said, I recommend this item if you just want a decent item that is reliable to get some kills with. But then you just might as well buy the photon staff which is one of the strongest competition that splicer has right now. Well, that's my part of the review, let me know in the comments if this is an item that you would buy.